Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing dragons. Okay, no, not like the fire-breathing behemoths of fantasy, but real life, for real, dragons. Yes, dragons are real, and you probably know some already. There are over 300 living species of the reptiles in the Agamidae family, and many of them are commonly known as dragons. They're also known as gliding lizards and agamas after their family name. These lizards live in Africa, Asia, and southern parts of Europe, but the place with the most dragons is Australia. They've also taken up residence in homes around the globe. Some familiar species may include water dragons and bearded dragons. There are other reptiles with the name dragon, like the Komodo dragon, as well, but they're not related to the dragons of today's video. These reptiles have long, sturdy tails that cannot fully autonomize, as well as strong hind legs which are used for bipedal locomotion in some species. They run. Dragons most often run to escape predators, and some are so quick they can walk on water. The types of predators they're trying to escape include snakes, monitor lizards, birds of prey, and mammals like dingoes and jungle cats. Other methods dragon utilize to escape predators include gliding and hiding. Some of these lizards have modified ribs that allow them to soar through the forest. Others dig their own intricate burrows into which they can flee. Euromastix lizards are a prime example of this. Dragons live from deserts to rainforests, depending on the species. Some dragons, like bearded dragons, are terrestrial and prefer to remain on the ground. They use their tunnels to help regulate their body temperature and escape foes. Other species are arboreal, meaning they spend their time in trees and will run to a tree and scurry up to avoid being eaten. Frilled neck lizards do this. Dragons range in size from less than an inch long, from their snout to the base of their tail, to over three feet long, including their tail. Their tails are often double the length of their bodies. They're most active during the day, and their prey include mostly invertebrates like spiders and insects. Some larger species eat small mammals, and others eat flowers and succulents when available. Something that sets dragons apart from other lizards are their teeth. Most lizards have teeth that fall out and are replaced, but dragon teeth remain in their mouth. This means, if something happens to a tooth, it isn't shed and replaced. So dental disease can impact a dragon's life. Chameleons have similar teeth. And, like chameleons, dragons can change color. As with chameleons, color change in dragons isn't necessarily for self-defense. These lizards use color because they want to be seen. They're looking for love and showing off their scales to find it. Female dragons are more attracted to the more brightly colored males. In fact, many species form harems where a male has breeding rights to multiple females, and they all remain in his territory until the end of the breeding season. Though it's not uncommon for dragons to live in colonies throughout the year. They'll mate, and the females lay a small clutch of about a dozen eggs in a burrow. However, some species do give birth to live young. On average, dragons only live to be a few years old. For more facts on dragons, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.